Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. This is so cool. Oh, we got a grenade. Can we throw this in the crowd so that we make uh, we clear out the path? Let's try this. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Irony Curtain. My name is, of course, Constantine, and we have returned back in Matryoshka with our buddy here, Ivan. Uh, in the previous episode, we barely man we just uh, managed to get out of the hotel. And now, I'm guessing we need to continue the journey here, but I don't really know what to do, so let's go back to the sergeant and have a chat with him. Comrade Ivan, we need to wait for a signal from the palace that we may enter. Currently, there are... there. We just have to wait. No rush. Hmm. Alright, uh, so we need to wait, I guess, for something. Uh, what is that? Between me and the curtain, there's about five miles of mud, half a million landmines, a thousand fences, and a dozen military checkpoints. It's possible that there's a better route. Hmm. Okay. Uh, ooh, Flores, can we talk to her? Good day. Can we talk? Oh, never mind. Oh, what? I don't understand Matryoshkin. Oh, we may need to learn Matryoshkin, I guess. Dang it. Okay. Um, what else? Let's uh, check these posters hmm. out. I don't understand any of it. Oh, uh, damn. It's Matryoshkin. We definitely need to learn Matryoshkin then. Uh, let's see. Can we chat with the uh, Comrade sergeant? I we need currently the no rush. Oh, okay, nothing from him. I thought that maybe we could ask him about um, talking Matryoshkin. I see we can go back. I in the... just got out of. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't want to go back in the hotel either, dude. Uh, okay, let's have a chat with the butcher. Uh, good day. Uh, can I have a word? Custom got the poem. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I I don't. Yeah, so we definitely need to learn um, Matryoshkin here. This is not gonna work. Hmm. I wonder how the heck are you gonna do that though? Huh. Proclamations. I don't understand. Uh, I don't think we understand anything. I don't think we're gonna understand this text I can't either. Read that. Yeah, as expected. Dang it. Octung Minin? I think that's a souvenir from the previous <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking Minin? German. I think that's a souvenir from the previous war. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Uh, can we read that though? I don't think so. Huh. I don't understand. Yep. As expected. Huh. Oh, look at this. There's a mailbox here. The Matryoshkin Postal Service will make sure your letter doesn't contain any errors. Spelling errors, of course. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, you know what? Uh, could we... We had this, uh, postcard. And I remember that when we picked it up, Ivan said that maybe he's gonna send it to his mother. So... A postcard displaying Matryoshka's defense assault attack launcher. Ooh, maybe I'll mail one to my mom later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so are we gonna be able to mail this? Let's see. Let's just try it I hope it reaches fun. my parents. Oh! I bet they're worried if I'm okay. No way we just emailed that. Uh, <laughs> email, sorry about that. <laughs> Who emails, right? Uh, no way we just mail that. Wow, alright. I'm not sure what that does, though. Anyway, uh, let's uh, see what is this. I always wanted to know my future. Hmm. Can we talk to her? Do you speak my language? Um, crap, that's a no. Well, I don't understand a thing. Yeah, so we definitely need to learn. Homeless people. I always imagined a communist system would be more, you know, communal. Hmm. Uh, can we chat with this guy, maybe? This has to be some Fishes local guy. gambling game. The man has three glasses and a lot of bottles. <laughs> I wonder how you play. Maybe it has something to do with drinking. Let's see. You look like someone who speaks my language. Is that thing? Oh my God. Seriously? Meh. Nobody speaks English. Damn. Well, I guess we gotta find a way to start speaking English here because we are definitely not gonna be able to solve our issues if you don't speak English. There's, Let's see. There's constant gunfire coming from beyond the palace gate. 
uh, the soldiers must be doing rifle drills. Uh, either that or they're just executing people. Hmm. Uh, let's go to the construction site here. Do -do -do. Oh! What the crap? Oh, they just covered a hole. They're building a metro? Seriously? <laughs> uh, let's see, let's have a chat with this guy. Sergeant Medvedev isn't letting me out of his sight. Oh. <laughs> He's a real looky loo. Yeah, that's that's correct. Huge construction! Careful, comrade. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. I have come to like you. Thanks, uh, <laughs> bud. Uh, you're okay too. All right. What do we have here? Let's I see. I saw mortar being made once. I think they mixed sand, water, and cement. Hmm. That's a good tip. Maybe we need to add that in the uh, cement mixer. Oh, apparently we can turn it They're on. Mixing air. <laughs> All right, never mind. Uh, isn't it turning off? Oh, yeah, it a does. A board never mind. nailed to a piece of wood stuck into the ground. Huh. Nothing special. What? What do you mean? Yes, it is. It's showing. Uh... It's a good thing they care enough about safety to cover these holes. <laughs> All right, let's carry on. <laughs> This is so funny. What's behind this poster that they need to cover it? It looks like a dead body. <laughs> to tell you the truth. Uh, we can't really interact with it. So anyway, let's uh, carry on. Do -do -do. Who do we have here? Senior citizen. How can one live like this? Huh. There's more and more I don't like about everyday life in Matryoshka. <laughs> Can we chat with them? Good but again... day. I bet you also only speak Matryoshkin. I assimilated your Oh, there we go. Before the current era of obscurantism Finally, someone that speaks the nation, English. Then, as the director of the Department of Foreign Language... Ooh, I know that word. But shouldn't it be foreign languages? Language. Just one. There is only <laughs> one foreign language sanctioned in Matryoshka. Oh. I presented the Ministry of Education with a proposal for the intensification of the educational dynamic, complete with an exhaustive explication thereof, but, alas, I was deferred. Yeah, explications, I hear you on that. They can be pretty rough stuff. I presume, dear boy that your fumbling inquiry is in regard to my existential angst? Uh... Yes? Indeed, the incontrovertible decision of those dilettantes affected me deeply. I remained imperturbable, lest those commies take pleasure at my discomfiture. Uh, we all know how dilettantes can be. Uh, also, commies is not the preferred nomenclature. Democratically challenged, please. I'm aware of what I'm saying. Are you implying I'm not? I am not imputing anything, boy. Good. I've grown very fond of my limbs. However, I would advise you not to disseminate words you do not understand. You will only look a fool and possibly lose your aforementioned appendages. I am a journalist, and I am adept at wielding the full breadth of my glossary. <sighs> I happen to possess, within my humble archives, a book of Matryoshkin phrases for foreigners. It may contain somewhat archaic turns of phrase, but I believe it will greatly facilitate communication with our people. Oh, thank you, Professor. If oh, we got it. happen to have a surplus of ration cards for sugar, chocolate, or fruit, I will gladly accept them as compensation. Sugar, chocolate, or fruit. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm, so maybe we need to bring the Professor some sugar or fruit or chocolates. Um... Let's see, ask about the situation in Matryoshka, ask about the construction site, safety inside a pipe. Let's go with the first one, whatever. Please tell me, what's it like living here? I feared we were mired in this odious reality for good. Since my brethren have a self-destructive predilection to a perseverative. 
Oh, you mean walking through parks in the evening in a long trench coat to open it in front of unsuspecting journalists? Not perverse. Perservative. <laughs> and I'm sorry that happened to you, my dear boy. That sounds monstrous. Only if it wasn't cold out. And thank you. I meant a predisposition to repeat the same mistakes. I see. Meanwhile, it seems there is a ray of hope. What are you saying? Nothing else for now. That grandiloquent satrap has eyes and ears everywhere. Who? That pompous despot boy. Ha! Huh, you're telling me. Well, I, I hope you'll tell me. Who are you talking about? The leader. Oh! Please don't talk about the leader like that. I know what a despot is, and he's not like that at all. Uh, sure, he wields absolute power and all, but... Don't try to pacify me. I have lived here for 70 years, and I know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah? Well, I just got here, and I know exactly what the leader is like. Good and just. And before you ask, I know all this because I read about him in a Matryoshkin government-approved publication. I saw photos of him playing <laughs> with children and petting sweet little puppers. Oh, dear boy. You have been egregiously misinformed. The leader is a bloody tyrant who, between breakfast and lunch, signs the death warrants of entire families without looking up from his meal, which is assuredly more robust than any meals his citizens consume. I don't mean to lecture you, but you're just buying into the lies spread by the leader's enemies. The people love him. Except you, of course. Balderdash! The people loathe him. He is a godless butcher. I'm sorry, but I don't believe that. I... I see that we are at an impasse on this matter. You will soon see the truth for yourself. Hmm. Everyone is, uh... Everyone needs to learn that communism wasn't really as he... As he thinks it is. Uh, let's see. Ask about the construction site. What can you let's tell go with me this. about this construction site? Every day is the same. They spend the first half of the day loitering, and then pretend they're working at 1,000 percent efficiency. Super <laughs> erogation is foreign to them all. Oh, I understand that. In the states, we have a group of people just like that. We call them Congress. So I have heard. And on top of that, this termagant is spewing sparks all over my priceless incunables. Termagant? An unpleasant lady. A welding woman. Hmm, alright. Uh, let's carry on. Ask why he's inside the pipe. I don't mean to be rude, but why are you sitting in this pipe? My existence within the pipe is not punitive in nature. In lieu of an apartment, which is evidently still under construction, I received an easement to utilize this pipe. Ah, well, obviously it's an easement. Correct. Now, what's an easement? It means I can use this government-issued pipe until my apartment building is completed. Fortunately, I am not overly ambulatory, so I have had no cause to complain for the past five years. Oh, and <laughs> what happened to your previous apartment? Oh Previously, God. I had lodged at the university. The greatest seizure in my life occurred when a censor editing my latest publication about the leader replaced every instance of horrific with terrific. Some sycophant heard my response to the censor, which only brushed against transgression, and pettily denounced me. Uncool. Those sycophants are the worst. And that is how I lost my tenure and apartment. And now I await my new allotment. Why don't you move into a different apartment? One that's already built. There isn't one. What do you mean? There has been a housing deficit for years. I'd heard that was impossible under communism. Well, now you can see for yourself how things work here. Oh my god. I, I mean, yeah, it's uh, the entire city looks like... The entire city we are in here looks like it's under construction. 
All right. Uh, ask about the Can safety. Let's see. Can anything unpleasant happen to me here because I'm a foreigner? With your views, dear boy, you have nothing to worry about. Unless, of course, you encounter the leader's pet. What do you mean? Vlad, the Minister of Propaganda. A beastly, cruel man. Everyone should fear him. I doubt we'll be running into each other, but thanks for the warning. Alright, well, we are done with him. I won't um, trouble you any longer. Before Let's you finish depart, the conversation. One more inquiry. Huh. Have you spoken with the apotropaic dame by the palace walls? I Ooh. tried, but we couldn't understand each other. That will undoubtedly become feasible once you've familiarized yourself with the book I've granted you. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. All right. Well, now that we are done with him, let's check out the book. Maybe this is gonna learn, uh, help us learn uh, some Matryoshkin. Uh, let's this see. book will teach me the basics of Matryoshkin. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. This is so cool. <laughs> Matryoshkin's not so hard after all. From now on, it'll be my second mother tongue. I'm so cultured. All right, we got it. Um, let's carry on here. It uh, looks crooked. Like the architect was good, but the construction was botched. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or <laughs> Look they at were that. drunk. <laughs> wow. Um, all right. Well, I guess we're done with that. This picture here is uh is set up so that the leader or whoever passes here believes that they're working, but they're not really working. They're not doing anything. It's a anything. good thing they care enough about safety to cover these holes. <laughs> Okay, I don't really know why this hole was covered as soon as we came here. Anyway, that was uh, quite weird. You have an uncanny ability to teleport, Sergeant Miedvidyev. That's correct. Oh, okay. Major Watson <laughs> has right shown there. me how to silently appear behind people. It is very useful. I am like Comrade Ninja. Incredible. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Who do we need to talk to next? Uh, do, do, do. let's uh, talk to the florist. Good day. What are you pushing for? Oh. Can't you see I'm buying flowers? Do you have urgent business here? I doubt it. No, I don't at the moment. I'll go now. Huh. Awesome. So we can now speak Matryoshka. That's so cool. Uh, let's have Good a chat with this guy as I'm well. I'm Evan, from the West. Welcome, sir. I I'm Anatoly. A miller from the village of Leader's Rear End. That's in the west too, al although it's often as assumed to be in the south. I, I can't figure out why. Is it far? Yeah, at least 15 minutes by horse. And my old nag can really scoot. Ah, then I'm much further away. I'm from beyond the Iron Curtain. Ah, damn. Then you gotta be real worldly and all. I bet you've even seen a pair of women's shoes with buckles on them. I can imagine it now. Anyhow, I'm here waiting on my son. He got locked up by those sons of bitches somewhere in that fancy pants hotel. Big head of oh, hair. Oh, this is the guy we, we need marbles. to meet. That's him! Oh! Then I've met him. He gave me something to confirm his identity. Hot damn! Huh. Let's see what you gave you. What did he give us? Uh, oh, he gave us the chess piece, yeah. Hot damn, that really is from my son. I told you. He gave it to me in exchange for helping him escape. He said if I gave it to you, you'd help me. And you helped him escape? Yes, heroically. Well, I freed him. All he has to do is wait for an opening, sneak through the hotel, avoid the guards, and run to freedom. I did most of the heavy lifting, though. Hot damn. <laughs> That's great news. Forgive me for standing this way, but I gotta pretend that hotel don't mean nothing to me. What can I help you with? I have a very urgent mission. It's top secret, so don't tell anyone. I'm talking like, pinky promise secret. Sure thing. I need to get to the metro undetected. I see. Them bastards are mighty watchful around here. But I heard there are old passages that can take you where you're trying to go. In fact, 
One of them was supposedly under old Uswick's house. Can you take me to meet him? Meet him? You want to go to the cemetery? He died three years ago. I thought you wanted to go to the metro. How would I possibly know? What about his house? They knocked it down. Building a residential complex there now. Ah, well then. I suppose I reckon know where it's hiding. I uh, what? I mean, I think I know where it is. Boy, I pick up accents easily. Thanks for the info. <laughs> uh, yeah, we definitely know where it is. Um, but the problem is, every time we show up there, in the construction site I'm talking about, uh, they seem to be covering it for some reason. Hmm. I mean, check this out. Oh, never mind. It's uh, actually still covered. Crap. I uh, I thought something else would happen. Uh, anyway, let's go back here then. Uh, to, to do, let's carry on. Let's uh, check this long these line. These people have anything better to do? Yeah. What the crap are they waiting for? Good day. Can I have a word? Um, I'm not letting okay, you in the go. line. No need to get upset. I I just wanted to talk. Hello? Don't play dumb, pal. I'm not letting you cut in the line. Right. I don't want to cut in the line. I just wanted to know uh, what are you waiting for. Anyway, let's uh, have a chat with the butcher then. The butcher really got boned on that crutch. <laughs> <laughs> I love topical humor. Oh my god. Uh, let's have a chat with him. Good day. Good day. What do you like? Good question. I've read a lot about how good Matryoshkin cold cuts are. I'd like to try some. Say, a pound of baked veal? A pound? Forna, huh? What veal? You know see no veal. I, I mean, I see the empty hooks where veal could be. Or where it once was. You know think too much. Good advice. Free of charge. Uh, then maybe something under the table? I've read that's a popular method of exchanging goods in Matryoshka. Now, to find a table... Is communism. Everyone get equal. Equal crap, equal beatings, equal stray dogs, everything equal, no meat. But you see, wait, so where did the meat go? At this time of year, before leader birthday, in palace. Oh, so he can more easily distribute it equally amongst the citizens? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Avon. He don't really know how communism really works, does he? I didn't know they had wisens in Matryoshka. Or maybe it's the skull of a different animal. I should take a closer look. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, let's check the postings here Children's now that we know Matryoshka. Monkey Island, Machinarium, what? Grim Fandango, and Neverhood. <laughs> I love the it. The documentary about the leader's childhood, Sun Child, is being shown at the Matryoshka Cinema. Matinee showings are reserved for school groups, while evening hours are for workers. The runtime is three hours, and each screening is preceded by the universally beloved newsreel. Man, Monkey Island has really made it in every single point-and-click game we play here. Alright, let's see, is there anything the else? The Department of Health has officially explained that there is no such thing as shroom kahal. And even if it existed, drinking it would be highly dangerous to one's health and is absolutely forbidden. Don't drink the imaginary vodka. <laughs> Citizen petitions for applications to post an announcement should be submitted on Friday, March 2nd, between the hours of 8 and 8.15. <laughs> Only 15 minutes. Oh, someone added by hand. I'll buy steel. Steel, any, any amount. amount. You know who? You know, you know where. where. <laughs> Citizen petitions for... Alright, uh, let's carry on. Oh, let's check the map here. Let's see what this is all about. Uh, so we are here, right? In the uh, square. This is the palace, the leader's palace. A military base. Train station. Son of the nation estate. Oh, this is where they're building they're building this uh residential place, I guess, right? It must be. Oh, what is this? Gork Park. Hey! Ah. They have balloons there! I love <laughs> balloons. <laughs> I love balloons. Uh the socialists was... All of the world power started as groups of countries banding together into organized commonwealths. 
Damn, this map looks really good. I love it. Uh, do also oh, this is the Iron Curtain. It's a wall as I was expecting. I'm starting to wonder if building the Iron Curtain was a good idea after all. Um. Holy cow! There's a military base between me and the curtain. Ah. Oh I god! So yeah, we cannot bikes. pass it. Matryoshka's construction saying. industry is flourishing. Uh, train station. I heard a saying that in Matryoshka, all trains go east, but. I don't understand what that means. <laughs> All right. Well, there's nothing we can do there. Uh, there's definitely a metro entrance here, but it's being guarded. Uh, let's have a chat with the guard. Hello. I need to use the metro. You can't. Why not? Orders came that the station is closed. For how long? Hmm. Indefinitely. But why? Orders are orders. But maybe. Be on your way, comrade. Crap, so we can definitely not go inside there because it's not gonna let us. Apparently he's quite sleepy though, so maybe that's something we need to the know. The Matryoshkin Metro is an artery fueling the lifeblood of the city. Uh, let's the check the proclamation posters here. warns against organizing in unregistered associations or any associations not known as the party and reminds the reader that freedom of speech is a privilege, not a right, and that it is a privilege they don't have anyways. <laughs> the proclamation warns against organizing in unregistered associations or any associations not known as the party and reminds the reader that freedom of speech is all right uh nothing new there so let's see oh let's uh, look at the plan in here. honor of the leader's greatness from a grateful nation on the second anniversary of the abolition of amnesty <laughs> i love the, the statue line between it's so respect good. for someone and a maniacal cult is Exceptionally thin here. Right, let's uh, carry on then. Let's see if we can chat with uh, the mysterious lady. This is the uh, mysterious lady that the uh, professor was talking about, I guess. Let's see. Hello, Eric. Who oh, are you? What the crap? I she knows our name. For you. Some of my answers you will understand. <laughs> Some of them you will not. You haven't answered my question. I am the foe. What? what? I am your yellow light bulb. What? What does that mean? The question Seriously? is, do you know why you are here? <laughs> of course I do. But it's quite complicated. You can call me the diviner. How did... How did I know your name? I know everything. That's impossible. Of course it's possible, I know. I am a certified gypsy fortune teller. <laughs> I specialize in rumpology. But in the field, it's easier for me to use a crystal ball. What is... Rumpology is divination using butts. Do you know that answering un... Asked questions is irritating? <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, I love it. Could... I stop doing that? I'll try. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Hey! This time I didn't even start the sentence and you already think you know what I'm going to say. Zero and infinity. Okay. Three. You're incredible. Thank you. I get that a lot. But let's talk about you. I know why you're in Matryoshka. Oh, please Do you now? don't say it out loud. It's top secret. You don't know the half of it. I'll help you. Take this. A bottle? I don't think... Not yet, but... The woman demands tribute! What was that all about? An unclear prediction. Sometimes the words just flow on their own and I don't have control over them. It's also unclear whether they concern the past or what is yet to be. The answer to your next question is... Hey! You said you'd stop doing that! Yeah, right. Ask your question. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, I, I wasn't really getting what she was saying. She was talking too much. Uh, ask for your fortune to be told. Yeah, let's go with that one. <sighs> I'd like to... Beware of your shadow, Ivan. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we need to be aware of our Thanks shadow, apparently. I don't really know uh, what that means, though. I vision clearly. Remember. The code for the cabinet with the short wave radio at the station is seven. 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 What? Um. Okay. 
So I guess we're gonna have to remember that, 777. Uh, let's carry on here then, and um, let's try to have a chat with uh, this dude. He's quite suspicious, but um, I guess uh, we need hey, to check him out. Now. I'm getting ready. All right, Hopefully all right. Hopefully he's not gonna hustle I'll us. Come back. I'll hang up the banner once I'm ready. Oh. Hmm, all right, got it. Oh, let's check this. Can we talk to the humble people? Psst! Are you asleep? Uh, apparently not. They are sleeping. Huh. I feel sorry for them. But how did they get here anyways? I guess communism guarantees the end of homelessness. Ha! Huh. What a nice perk. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Can There's we... Constant... Oh, never mind. We can definitely not get inside there. What are the posters Citizen. gonna say, though? The sound of gunfire coming from within the palace walls is not alarming. You are not alarmed. <laughs> Citizen, stay sober. Life is happy, and the leader is watching. <laughs> wow, alright. Um... That doesn't sound good if at all. If I weren't all. in the middle of an urgent mission, I'd gladly see these pearls of... Architecture? <laughs> yeah, those are definitely not rockets. Not, uh, not one bit. Uh, let's carry on here. Can we talk to the sergeant, Comrade maybe? Ivan, we need to wait a bit before they let us in. They haven't finished the exit. Exit. Execution, okay, yes. But I I'm I Evan, got it. not Ivan. Tang it. Um, everybody, everything is uh, coming uh, together now. And we are slowly seeing the true word? face of the communism. Get lost. No need yeah, to get that's upset. Not gonna help us. All right, let's see. What do we got? So we got a small bottle, but what do we need this for though? A small empty bottle. Hmm. I don't really know to tell the truth. Oh, we got a grenade. Can we throw this in the crowd so that we make uh, we clear out the path? Let's try this. No, I won't. <laughs> of course that's not going to work. <laughs> that's just a bit of me think that's going to work. Uh, maybe throw the money there in the crowd. I'm just going to pretend. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> My ideas don't work. Uh, let's go back to the construction site then and see what we have here. Let's see. Let's check this I out. I can't read the sign from here, but I assume it says "Warning: Don't fall." No, not really. It's according uh, to the Miller. I should be able to get to the metro the through there. This entrance to the metro, but I don't really. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Who is this guy? Huh. The surveyor is taking some measurements here. I think he's making sure there aren't any accidental horizontals or verticals. <laughs> Apparently Good he's day. not uh, I'm Evan. This seen is a properly. fool's errand. They designed all this crap, and then you're supposed to fit an entire neighborhood on a tiny scrap of land. I'm sorry, but I need to concentrate on this. Well, good luck. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not gonna work. Let's see. Heal the lights. What is this? Hey, don't touch that. It's expensive. Okay. Okay. Huh. I just wanted to have a look. All right. So we cannot uh, have a chat there, apparently. Uh, can we chat with this dude though? I'm not sure Good because day. he's welding. I'm Evan, and I'm busy, Mister. Oh. Fancy pants. I do enjoy these pants, thank you. <laughs> and I can see that you're busy. Whew. There's a lot of work to be done around here. Yeah, that's life. Work and work, day and night, no rest. The party's three-year plan's not gonna make itself. Damn it! Didn't you just have a break? Uh, when I was here earlier, the entire site was empty. What? You think I was resting? I've got private clients I need to weld for. I haven't rested since I was 12. And that was only because I was kicked unconscious by a small donkey with a big grudge. I do not wish to speak of it. Okay, but now you're working for the glory of the leader in communism. It can't get better than this. Yes, it can. It'd be much better if I myself could decide where I work, how, and for whom. Then decide for yourself. I'd like to, but I can't. What do you mean you can't? What could possibly be stopping you? Communism. How could you think that? As a station who has read some books on communism, I'm sorry to tell you that you are mistaken. Oh, Mr. Fancy Bands. 
You still got a lot to learn about communism. He thinks he knows everything. Yura, I welded those covered handles you asked for. Great, thanks. My dad will bring you some fermented cherries tomorrow. Oh, one more thing. Tell that guy from your block, if you see him, that of course I'll weld those hangers for him tomorrow. <laughs> huh. Interesting. So apparently Evelyn doesn't really want to see what uh, the communism is truly all about. Alright, well, this is our time for now, and we have quite a lot more to do in this, uh, in the city. At the moment, we barely scratched the surface of it, and we haven't really done much. But, uh, we will continue on the adventure in the next episode when we come back, and try to figure out how to get inside the metro line, and hopefully how to make our way to the Iron Curtain. Alright then, well, as usual, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you're enjoying the video so far, do not forget to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!